Okay, welcome back. Now we are going to be doing the uh, we're gonna, well first just add these buffers back in so we can see what they are. There they are, and now we're going to change the color of them. So essentially, uh, let me just review what's going to happen here. We're going to go from uh, okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, let me just check that again. I think we're going to do it like this. So we're going to double click on this. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. There we go. Change color. Bap, bap, doop, doop. 240. No, we want this one to be 240. Ah, I keep on forgetting how to do this. Uh, 150. So we're going to make the inner circles darker and the outer circles not so dark. And we're essentially going to change it by, that was 150. So this will be 165. Is that correct? Yes, we're doing it correct. And then we'll just keep on going here. 180. And as you can see, we're getting a nice little gradient here. 195. Oops, okay. Uh, 210. All, and it's going to basically going to fade to white. 210, 225 will be next. And then 240. Ta! -da! And so there we have our nice little gradient, which makes it much more, much, much more visually appealing to look at. So that's just a nice little trick I like to use to to improve the cartographic visual appeal of my project. So that's that. Let's uh, actually we can actually get rid of this file because it's not being of any use to us. So we'll right click on it and hit remove. Or we could have done this button up here. And uh, we'll actually move significant discoveries on top. Just so you can see where they are. And now we're going to go and do this next part. Okay. So some of the final constraints we have to make up are which blocks, which wells are unlicensed. Okay. Uh, are they within an environmental constraint? Which would be, you know, which might increase the cost or the... The, the risk involved with the project, so increased cost with increased risks, you know, theoretically. And then the third one is the depth of the well. So we're going to go, uh, I think we're going to go with licensing next because that's kind of one of the major points is because if a well is owned by another company, not only do you have to buy the rights to the well, but you have to buy them off of a company so there's already like an initial cost as opposed to buying a well off of like the free the free market essentially presumably there'd be less cost involved with that um, so so they're gonna target a JIP oil company is gonna target wells that are not owned by anybody at this particular point so how do we do that well we go to offshore wells we open up the attribute table by right clicking on it and clicking left clicking on that open attribute table so we've got eleven thousand wells there was um, 13,000 wells at the start, but we've removed 2,000 onshore wells. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this look for function down here in the bottom. And we're going to look for, well first let's find it in the attribute table so we know what we're doing here. As you can see there's lots of different things in the attribute table. One of the things that we're going to be doing later is doing water depth. Now one of the errors with water depth, depth which we'll be looking at later, there's some errors with the data. Here we've got operator, and as you can see there's different companies. Let's just go look for a JIP just for uh, for for kicks because there are some a JIP owned companies. So let's just look for that under operator search. And I think there's four, five. Okay, let's uh, move selection to the top. There's five of them. There you go. And maybe we'll just minimize this and we'll be able to see where they are. Is that correct? Can we do that? 
Maybe. I thought they were supposed to show up as yellow, but I guess they're not. We, we could make a new attribute table out of these, but uh, there's probably no need to really. So essentially, there's their there's their five oil wells, and they're trying to make more, get more of them. So let's go look for, instead of looking for Egypt, we're going to go look for null for unowned wells. So we're going to search for that in the operator, the owner essentially. And out of 11,000, there are 6,000 matching features. So that's, I think that's 53%, if I remember correctly. So we will, and from that, we're just going to minimize the attribute table. We'll go onto Offshore Wells, right click, go to Save Selection As. Make sure you click this little button here, otherwise it won't work for some reason. And we'll just call this. Um, Unlicensed. I can't spell licensed. It's one thing I can't do. Oh boy, that's a terrible spelling of unlicensed. I I can't even live with myself for saying that for spelling it that badly. So I'll go Google it here. That's terrible. I know. Isn't that terrible? Licensed. Whoopsies. Such bad spelling. Unlicensed dwells. Okay. And there we go. There we go and you will see it will be added very nicely to and there you go it's completed it make me a huge dinging sound which thankfully you guys didn't have to hear because that was really annoying and so we will now get rid of offshore wells we'll, we'll, we'll make it not visible we'll move it to the bottom as well so as you can see there's a lot of unlet well let's just bring this up here and just do a comparison here so we can see uh, we'll make offshore wells red a nice bright red so you can see them uh, oh, they're not colored in yet there we go there you go so there are there are some if we zoom in further too you'll be able to see it even better probably see exactly what we're dealing with as you can see there are a a good chunk of the wells are now removed from the study so we will just move those down there and we'll back out again it goes here previous selection there we go. Now, so that's our unlicensed wells. That's a big step because we want this company to be able to buy these wells for as cheap as possible. That was a pretty simple function. Now let's get into maybe a possibly a more advanced version of that, which is uh, querying for at for querying an attribute table basically with a bit of a function in it. So let's go do that now. And once again, uh, well, actually, hold on a second here. I'm thinking about how I should do this. Maybe I'll just pause it here and think about this a little. Okay, welcome back. I had to make a decision there and I've decided we are going to just keep trucking along. So essentially we're going to bring back offshore wells and we're going to perform our depth out of that. It says something else, we're going to just keep it. Uh, it's on, it's the red right now. but So, and then at the very end, See, I was conflicting between either doing the elimination step by step, which I, f I've, I haven't been doing, but that would make more sense. But instead, we're just going to do all the data preparation at once. And then once the data preparation is done, we will move into elimination. Kind of like kind of like this is like the regular season, and then we're going to go into the playoffs, and we're going to start eliminating wells. So that'll be very exciting that we get to eliminate some wells. Uh, so let's go into offshore wells uh, and we'll do the attribute table thing again. Oh, we already have it open right here, don't we? Oh no, what have I done? I tried opening it and I already had it opened. Oh no, I may have just killed my baby here. That's not good. Might be a bit of a glitch in the system. So essentially, I already had it opened. I tried to open it, and then I clicked the one that was open, and it's having a bird, and it fixed itself. There we go. So to clear a selection, because we have a bunch of selected right now, just click this button, or you can do Control U. You know, both those work. So back into this, we've once again we've got our 11,000 wells back, and we'll go to the well depth here, which is this water depth actually. And so here is the depth of the well essentially. There are some that are null, but it's not very many. We'll just find out exactly how many there is right now. Look for null in well depth or water depth. Search. Uh, 
Oh, okay, I was really confused there. 62, so there's not very many at all. And uh, that's that, so we'll just unclear that selection. We'll clear that selection. And now we're going to do an advanced search, essentially, because we need to... <coughs> We need to do more than just uh, find the. We do. We need to do a mathematical function here. So we're going to open up Query Builder, which is the same as ArcMap essentially, and we're going to go to Water Depth. Double click it. We'll add it into the SQL little statement down here. We're going to go less than or equal to. And here's where I had a, in my previous re versions, I did, first I did 500 meters. Presumably those numbers are in meters. Uh, which uh, I think got rid of 75% uh, of the data, which is a lot. That's a lot of data. However, I think that using the wells gives us the ability to get rid of a lot of, uh, of using the well depth gives us a lot of opportunity to get rid of a lot of our points. Because essentially, we don't want to have this final result be like, oh, here's a list of a thousand, the best a thousand points that that Egypt should buy. You know, Egypt wants to know what are like the top five wells that we should we should look at. They don't want to look at a thousand. You know, they could have done that themselves. They could have just circled things on a map. Uh, the job of ours is to is to get this, this down to as, as as few as possible isolated wells. So water depth less than uh, 50. Yes, I believe that is correct. So that's 150 feet. So not very much. Test it, which is actually a cool feature, which I don't think I don't think that actually exists in ArcMap. We got 215. That's perfect. We'll go OK. This will give us our 215 features once it finishes figuring it out. And we can bring them to the top just so we can see them. And I don't think that I don't know if there's any. It'd be kind of funny if. A, a Jip actually owned one of these wells already. I don't think I actually checked for that. We might check for that. We'll check for that in a second here, actually. Uh, we'll do that in just a jiffy, and we'll 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 do this whole save as thing. S there we go. Uh, we will save it as um, wells under fifty, and we'll save it, and we'll go OK. And here it is. So once again, we're starting to accumulate quite a lot of. Yes, I see that. Uh, quite a few wells. So let's just get rid of. I'm not sure if we're actually ever going to use significance discoveries in this in this whole analysis. To be honest with you, but I brought it in here just in case at the end we do. Um, offshore wells. We will. What are we going to do with offshore wells? I'm sorry. I'm having a bit of a brain fart here. Wells under 50, unlicensed wells, offshore wells. Okay, sure, we'll get rid of that too. These points are so similar. I don't know why it makes these points so similar. We'll make this green so you can really see it. And there won't be very many under 50. They'll all be really close to the coast. Or will they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened here, guys? 6,000 features? Well, we made an error there, guys. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, let's remove this file. I don't know what I did. I thought I did that right. I really thought I had. Okay, we'll go to offshore wells again. Uh, offshore wells. Open up the attribute table. We have 250 of them right here. Yeah, offshore wells. Why? How did, how did I do that wrong? Oh, did I click the wrong one? I did, yeah. Okay, uh, I clicked the wrong one. Offshore wells, save as. I just I clicked on the wrong. I think I right clicked on uh, unlicensed wells and not offshore wells, and that's why. Okay, so I did everything right. I just clicked the wrong file, uh, which is a dumb mistake. And I think we can just click on the same one and it overwrite. Yes, I would like to replace it. Okay. I need to get some music going here because I'm getting a little bit I'm losing my focus. Wells under 50 has been <clears throat> added to the map. Ah, yes, I see that. Whoopsies.
Oh boy, is this having the same errors before? I'm confused. You know what I think is happening right now? No. Hmm. Why is it doing this? I'm confused now. I'm checking to see if there's other files that have things selected. Because that would explain a lot right now. Okay, there's the 215 from here. Why are you giving me a file that has all the points? Okay, let's remove this again and try that. Let's try this whole shebang again. Offshore wells, open attribute table, 250 million. That's correct, but we're just going to do this again. Advanced search, water depth is equal to or less than 50. Test it. 215. Can I save it just like that? I don't think that. No, it doesn't work. I tried that before, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so we have 215 matching. Good. Oh, did I? Was I not clicking on save selection as? That's probably my mistake. That was retarded. Man, that's that's embarrassing. That's that's GIS sometimes. Sometimes you just you just don't click the right buttons, and all of a sudden it works. Which is, I got it this time. I know I've got it right this time. Oh boy, where did it go? I was dragging it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there we go. Finally, finally, finally. That's very exciting. Let's go change the color of this bad boy to green. Uh, music's too loud, I can't hear anything. There's our wells. Yay! So there's only 215 of them, which is very exciting. And I think... I think that might be it for this section of the of the this walkthrough. We're up to 18 minutes again, so our sections are getting about 20 minutes long. And when we come back, I think we're going to go into making an environmental constraint and then maybe doing some stuff with the significant discoveries and that that'll be it for the regular season we'll be into the playoffs and we'll start eliminating wells